Child Development Center is a very special place. When we were designing this a year ago, we wanted to make sure that we had the best of the best in our area. So after numerous visits to other child development centers across the state, we knew what we needed to come back and do here. So each classroom for um, the age groups have an observation room, so students, JSU students, and families can observe their children during the day. We also have lab students from our child development and early childhood elementary programs who are here working with children every day. Well, our clients are the children and their families throughout the community. So we provide a safe learning environment. We focus on uh, developmentally age-appropriate activities for all of the different age groups that we serve. We've tried to um, instill a lot of the basics that the children are going to need when they move on to more formal education. So in our three-year-old classroom, I focus a lot on following directions, um, being able to line up in a line, um, waiting our turns to talk, things like that that are really setting a foundation for when they move on into more formal instruction. Um, I just could have never imagined that he would be this far along at this age, just after five months being here. Um, we were really looking for somewhere that would that would more than just babysit him. I feel bad sometimes that I, I think he's learning a lot more here than he could have ever learned from us or anywhere else. So um, it's really exciting to see him learn and grow so much. After the pandemic, we saw child care centers uh, start to close and we, we noticed a, a lack of child care in our immediate area. And we heard from our faculty staff with the problems they were having finding uh, adequate and appropriate child care for their children. So that's a concern. If it's a concern for our faculty and staff and students and it's a concern for the administration and the Board of Trustees. So we set out to open a child development center offering a quality experience and a great educational opportunity for our young kids. Here at the Child Development Center, our teachers, um, they are certified and they are working with children every day on developmental milestones. They're working on um, cognitive, physical, social, emotional, and language development. As far as new faculty coming in and if they were looking for a place to place their child, I would highly recommend this above. We've actually used many daycares in the area. We've loved several of them, but this has just been the pinnacle for me of just expert care, communication, um, just constant you know, development of our kids. And I just can say that it's really a benefit here on campus that we didn't have before and that I was really waiting for for years. So I'm very thankful that it's happened at this point, so. The Child Development Center is located at the former Kitty Stone Elementary School, now the College of Education and Professional Studies complex on Jacksonville State University campus. I think one word to sum it up would be convenient um, and safe for me, uh, just to know that my kid's somewhere nearby and um, it's really convenient that she can bring her to work with her and um, cost effective. And we also know that she's gonna get a good education because they have such a good curriculum here at the CDC. <laughs> and she loves it. If I could let other families uh, know something a little bit about the CDC or if they're contemplating enrolling their child in the CDC, uh, I would let them know that they get the full educational resources of the university behind the Child Development Center. And all of that we're known for teacher education and uh, it's, it's an opportunity for our students, but also our, our great, talented faculty and the experts in the field to make sure that their child is getting a, a great opportunity and educational experience. With that, you know, we are investing in the resources of the uh, Child Development Center with security cameras and the latest technology to make sure our children are safe, including a resource officer that is on site. Parents that are students really benefit from this location because some of them have early morning classes and they need a place close to campus to drop their children off. Some of them have late classes, so we're open to six o'clock, so they have the opportunity to come pick up their children as soon as they get out of class. Then, if they have a break between classes, they are welcome to come and have lunch in our break room and spend a little time with their children while they're here. We had a one-room schoolhouse before where we had one classroom for threes and four-year-olds. And then with the implementation of, of the dream of the presidents, we now have space for infants through 
four-year-olds. We have two first class pre-K classrooms and hope to be adding another one for the 23-24 school year. We have two different types of programs here. We have our Alabama first class pre-K classrooms, two of those, which enrollment begins usually in January and goes through the end of February. We have a drawing through the state for spaces for children in the classroom. We also have year-round childcare for infants through three-year-olds. And that process goes through our website where you can find the registration form. There's a $50 registration fee and then begin um, as we have space for your child. I think this is a great opportunity for students who have kids because most of the time when someone as young as us have kids, they kind of give up on school or whatever they have going on. But having a CDC helped me out a lot because like I said, I was able to still focus on school and have a place for my child to go that I trusted for him to go. I think the CDC Center is unique because of its affiliation with JSU. We have so many opportunities to bring in people that are experts in their area people that are uh, students that are learning how to work in a classroom and work with young children. And they, uh, we can take advantage of all the different opportunities and departments that the university has. They, we can bring in um, guests from biology. We've had guests from wellness doing physical fitness with the children. We have, of course, all of our education people coming in. Um, we're able to touch on our international house and um, get the people, from, uh, students from there to come in and share different cultures and things that they have to offer. We have a very diverse population of families that do attend the CDC. We are open to everyone. We have students who are currently um, attending JSU. We have JSU alumni. We have JSU staff and faculty, their children are here. And then we're also available to the community. And when we say community, we don't mean that you have to live in Jacksonville. We mean community as a family. Wherever you live, you are more than welcome um, to come. What makes our Child Development Center a little different from any of the others in the state? We do have other centers that are located on college campuses, but I think it's that JSU spirit, that family environment that truly continues to make our center um, a part of all of who we are here at Jacksonville State University. The Jacksonville State University Child Development Center offers services from children six weeks to five years of age. Um, we offer it where parents can come in and observe the children throughout the day. If we have nursing moms, we have the breastfeeding room for them to nurse if they needed to come over and nurse at the Child Development Center. I would just say that if anybody is considering bringing their kid to the CDC, the JSU CDC, that um, absolutely don't hesitate. It's amazing. Everybody's amazing. It's like one big family and um, like I said, I think he's learning so much more than he would have anywhere else and um, I just, I, I, could, I could rave about it. I could go on all day and I would highly recommend it to anybody that's looking for a daycare.